Last week, I skirted San Antonio's Class C airspace and threaded my way through storms to land at San Marcos Regional Airport. In this video, I head south toward the Gulf of Mexico and land at Alfred C. Bubba Thomas Airport in Sinton, Texas. San Marcos ground, Luscombe 1813 Kilo at Barry Aviation, ready to taxi, and I've got the latest weather. Calling ground, stand by one, please. Okay, I'm sorry, calling ground, say again. Luscombe 1813 Kilo at Barry Aviation, ready to taxi, and I've got the latest weather. What's the name of the Barry Aviation? Calling San Marcos Ground Patrol, say again, please. Luscombe 1813 Kilo at Barry Aviation, ready to taxi with the latest weather. Luscombe 1813 Kilo, runway 35, taxi three, Alpha Charlie Foxtrot, hold short of 31, say direction of departure. Alpha Charlie Foxtrot, hold short of 31. I'll be departing the area to the southeast. Roger. This Alpha, it must be, oh, this is the, uh, what's it called, the inactive area or whatever, or non-movement area, so this has to be Alpha right here, and then Charlie should be at a 45 or so down that way. San Marcos Tower, Luscombe, 1813 Kilo, just to clarify, do I turn left here, left on Charlie? No, right on Charlie, you're going to 3-5. Ah, gotcha, okay. So continue just down toward the south here. Yeah, Charlie and Foxtrot hold short runway 3-1, and that's your um, holding short of 3-5 spot also, so uh, hold short of 3-1 and then give me a call when you're ready. Uh, well, give me a call on tower frequency, I got both of them. Give me a call on tower frequency when you're ready. We'll go. Okay, I gotcha. So that would have been left on Charlie. Well, it's good, good to ask. I feel a little bit dumb, but better to clarify. Just lack confidence, mister. That's all. San Marcos Tower, Luscum 1813 Kilo, holding short 31, ready for departure. Luscum 1813 Kilo, San Marcos Tower, cross runway 31, runway 35, clear for takeoff, right turn approved. Luscum 1813 Kilo, cross 31, uh, clear for takeoff, runway 35. Alright, so that's that one, I want that one. And looks like no one's coming in. All right, you know, I don't feel bad about that. There's 3-1, and here's 3-5, there's 3-1. And so that pretty obviously makes this one 3-5. Here goes nothing, oil pressure's good. The wind should be pretty close to down the runway.
This leg will take me from San Marcos, Texas, down to Sinton, and very near the Gulf of Mexico. The terrain is flat and the route straightforward, but the haze and fog make me a bit uneasy. Pretty hazy out here. San Marcos, sir, Bonanza 18413. All right. Man, hazy. Yeah, San Marcos Tower, Bonanza 18413. Bonanza 18413, San Marcos. Yeah, 413 is uh, 9 to the southwest, inbound with the uh, one minute weather, full stop. Bonanza 413, make a straight runway 35, wind 010 at Niner, runway 35, Colonel William. Straight down 35, clear to land, Bonanza 413. Oh, man. Hazy and some clouds up ahead here. They're probably well above me. Now we're going about 100, so not really much wind right here. Yeah, it's maybe clear on top, but I'm hesitant to try to go up through there at the moment. Alrighty. So now there's a, uh, now let's go over to 122.9, just to hear if we hear anybody at some of these other airports we're going to be passing by. So, I'm going to see what it looks like if I climb just a little bit. Pretty hazy. Yeah, you know... I don't like all this haze. I don't don't know what's going to be up on top, or if there's a top, or how much I would need to climb to get above it. And uh, it might just be fine. I can still see the ground, okay. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna stay lower. And Hatfield traffic helicopter five four four Bravo Bravo departing to the west out of Hatfield. Yeah, that guy. Uh, he went around me. I'm gonna get lower. Rather than try to get up through all this. Well, I can see a few miles. So I guess uh, if you're low enough, if you're in G, you need one mile and clear of clouds. Oil pressure's good, oil temp's good. Smithville traffic, many 79363, approximately 10 miles to the northwest, going to enter left downwind for runway 35, full stop, Smithville. Yeah, this isn't so bad. I can see probably three miles, and all I need is one. And I suspect that this will burn off. Lulink traffic, two minutes for jumpers, parachutes, two minutes for Lulink, Carter Memorial. Oil wells. That one's pumping. Yep, not much out here. Eagle traffic, traffic to Lincoln, South Turn, right base 35, Eagle Lake. Yeah, I see blue straight above me. And a few puffies out there, but mostly just hazy down here. And farmland. Smithville 219 Papa Bravo, four miles east uh, west of the airport. We'll be entering left downwind for three five. Smithville. Yeah, there's a tower right there that I can see on the chart there. But he's way below me. Maybe 200 feet high. Smithville traffic, 979363, approximately 6 miles to the northwest, entering left downwind for runway 35, full stop, Smithville. That's a cell tower. Smithville, 219 Papa Bravo, 3 miles west of the airport, entering left downwind for 35, Smithville. I'm zipping along pretty good here. 115 miles an hour. Oh, it's 
The haze is not not quite as thick now. Or fog. I guess really it's fog. Just what Jill told Smith, me. Phil, two one nine Papa Bravo, left down wind three to five. To Smith expect. Phil. Smithville, ninety three six three, four miles to the west. Entering left down one three five for Smithville, full stop. So there's some real clouds. Fog is kind of filling in the gaps, but there's a few actual. Smithville, two one nine Papa Bravo, left base three five. Clouds, things that I think would qualify as fog. But I think everything that's filling in here would probably classify as fog. I don't know. We're going to almost 120 miles an hour at 2400 RPM. Over the ground. Moving traffic jump is away. There she is moving. Smithville, 219 to Papa Bravo, turning final 35. Smithville. Yeah, I'm going about 120 over the ground here. Which is cool. At 2400, just under 2400 RPM. Looks like a little uh, solar farm here. On a couple acres, maybe. Maybe five acres, I don't know. Smithville traffic, 9363, okay, runway 35, full stop, Smithville. Looks like just some guy's house. Or, I don't know, maybe not a house. Okay, just for fun. Let us see about climbing up through this stuff. Ah, crap. I'm gonna climb. Let's see what I see up a little higher. I just wanna make sure I can see the ground. Definitely got a left uh, crosswind. Make a little adjustment there. See what we see up here a little bit. And if I don't like it, I can drop right back down. Yeah, it's smoother already. It was getting bumpy down there. Oh, about 78, which is fine. Climbing pretty good. 700 feet a minute. Pretty good for me. I can see the ground very clearly. We're at 2,500. I can still see the ground real clearly. If I look out the window, it's tough to see the horizon though. And it's definitely a thick layer of haze. I really gotta look out to the sides here to see the ground because if I look straight ahead, I don't really s I don't see a horizon. There's some puffy clouds below me there, just a few tiny little puffs here and there. I can still see the ground very clearly out to the sides and even out in front of me a few miles. So I think I'm doing okay. Not that I'm actually super happy being in this haze or this real thin fog. Yeah, it's just a real light haze. And it, it looks, I don't know where the top is. It just keeps going. I don't think I'm going to keep climbing. I don't think there's any point. In fact, I think... Maybe I'll drop back down a thousand feet, maybe to 2,500. Because really, I don't see the, any top in sight here. And I'd rather be a little closer to the ground, have a little better visibility of the ground. But 
after climbing a little bit, it did get smoother, so I'm not going to go back down to 1,000. So I switched over to 122.8. So I'm flying by a couple airports with 122.8, and the one that I was thinking about landing at's at on 122.8, so. So it's 2,000. Let's level off at 2,000. Over to traffic system 150. Mike Victor left downwind 3 4 full stop. Flying V traffic experiment right base gear down, full stop, from my 3 2 flying V. Okay, you can go ahead and get it. Jump over to traffic system 150. Mike Victor left base 3 4 full stop, forwardy. Yeah, this fog is the best. But, uh, eh. It's stretching me just like the rest of it. It's, a, it's giving me a new and different challenge. That's the town of Kennedy right there. Off the right wing. Huh. That's interesting. No idea what that's used for. A Naval Outlying Landing Field, or NOLF, is an auxiliary field used by the U.S. Navy. No units or aircraft are based there, and it has minimal facilities. It's used as a low-traffic location for flight training without the risks and distractions of other traffic at a naval air station or other airport. This particular field is known as Goliad NOLF, as it's located in Goliad County. It has two runways, each 8,000 feet by 150 feet. It was built in the 1970s by the U.S. Navy, sold to Goliad County in 1999 for $1 for use by the public, and then repurchased by the Navy in 2011 for $2.3 million. Goliad County, Texas thanks the U.S. taxpayers for their generous gift. All right, good Castro, enough. Cafe, three, two bikes, right cross with three, four, Castro. Alrighty, that was kind of interesting. I wasn't planning on flying right over that, but kind of cool. Thomas traffic, Luscombe 1813 Kilo, 4 miles to the north at 1,500. There it is. Alright, so I'm 500 feet or so above pattern altitude. Alright, I'll follow the cubs in the steerman. I'll follow the cubs in the steerman. So, what do we got here? Yeah, it's a little bumpy down lower here. Four miles. Thomas traffic, Luscombe 1813 Kilo, uh, two miles to the north at 1,500. I'm going to overfly the field at 1,500, and then uh, possibly descend to pattern altitude and enter the pattern for landing, Thomas. Check, check, check. Seems like uh, this is a little quiet today. I don't know why. I th and everything's left-hand. They're all left-hand patterns. So 1,500, that's 500 above, pattern altitude. Field's at 48 feet. So we're getting close to the ocean, close to sea level. And... Oh, oh, there it is. Boy, that's a beauty. That is a nice... Nice looking airport. Yep, I'm going to use that turf. For sure. So left down one will be on this side, on the north side. Displaced thresholds on both ends for roads, maybe. Yeah, it's a beautiful little airport. Yeah, the wind lines up real nice with... Uh, Sinton, Texas is a small town of just over 5,000 people and is just 30 miles from the Gulf of Mexico. 
It's only 10 miles from Nueces Bay, an inlet from the Gulf, and 17 miles from Corpus Christi. It was established in 1895 as a station on the San Antonio and Aransas Pass Railroad and is the county seat of Patricio County. Alfred C. Bubba Thomas Airport is a beautiful little airport butting up against the west edge of town and is named after a pilot who crashed and died in January of 2002 while approaching to land at night in the fog, what pilots call IMC, or Instrument Meteorological Conditions. Thomas traffic, Lusco 1813 Kilo over the field at 1500. I'm going to fly north a little bit, maneuver for uh, 45 to enter left down, went for runway 3, Thomas. Oh, bird. Up, 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 bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. There's a thousand. Thomas traffic, Lusk, up one eight one three kilos on a, a forty five to enter the left down, went for runway three, Thomas. There's a thousand. Let's go ahead, hit the car, Pete. Thomas traffic, Lusk, 1813 Kilo, left down, wind, runway 3, Thomas. Haven't heard anybody else, haven't seen anybody else. Good, wind socks right down the turf runway. And there's a stiff, stiff wind, so. Keep our speed up here, turn a little bit sharp. Thomas traffic, Lusk, come 1813 Kilo, turning final for runway three, Thomas. Man. Thomas traffic, Lusk, 1813 Kilo, back taxiing 1-4, Thomas. Boy, I'm glad I didn't uh, land long and hit the tarmac there. Dang, that's rough and sticky. The la actually, initially when I landed, it was it was fine. It was pretty smooth, but then it just got uh, it's like I was bogging down. And yeah, I'll take off uh, on this beautiful blacktop here, despite the crosswind. 
But I'm glad I landed that way. Thomas traffic, Lusk up 1813, kilos clear of 14, Thomas. Come back next week when I fly along the Gulf of Mexico and land at Brownsville, Texas, the southernmost and most distant point of my trip, completing phase one.